Alright, today we're going to look at long division of polynomials. But before we start, let's recap on how to divide whole numbers. So for example, we have 37 divided by 5. Okay, so what we normally do is put 37 here and 5 here and start the long division process by finding a number when multiplied by 5 will give another number closest to 37. So for example, in this case, I will take 5 times 7, which gives me 35. I take the difference of these two numbers, and this gives me the remainder. Right? I cannot continue any further. So 2 is called the remainder. 37 is called the dividend. 5 is called the divisor. And 7 is called the quotient. So one way to express this okay, would be the dividend is equals to the product of the divisor and the quotient plus the remainder. Okay, so this is the dividend. This is my divisor. This is my quotient. And my remainder. So now let's talk about the division for polynomials. Okay, let's say I want to divide fx, okay, this polynomial by the divisor x minus 1. So one way to write this is fx equals to x minus 1 times the quotient plus the remainder. Now since the degree of this polynomial is 3, we expect the quotient to be of the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, in other words, the quotient is a quadratic expression. Okay, since when I open up this bracket, okay, I'll end up with a cubic polynomial. So, we have learned earlier okay, that uh, we could either apply our comparing of coefficients method or by substitution to find the unknowns A, B, C, and R. Right? But if you do that, it will be pretty tedious. So what we are going to do okay, is to apply the long division similar to what we have done with whole numbers. So, again, we will write the dividend here and the divisor outside. So, first step, again, we want to find okay, a term such that x minus 1 multiplied by that term will get rid of the x cubed. Okay? And the fastest way and only way to do this is to have x squared. So when x minus 1 times x squared gives me x cubed minus x squared. Again, I try to subtract these two terms. Note that the negative sign is outside of this bracket. Okay, so x cubed minus x cubed is 0. 2x squared minus negative x squared gives me 3x squared. And I bring down the rest of the terms. Since this term here is x squared, I can continue the long division process. Okay, so the second term will be 3x. Since x minus 1 times 3x gives me 3x squared minus 3x. Okay, again we take the difference. Okay, the first term is gone. Second term, negative x minus negative 3x. Okay, gives me 2x. Right, and then we can do it one last time. Okay, when I multiply x minus one by two, I get two x minus two. All right, so seven minus negative two gives me nine, and I cannot continue further. So in this case, 
Okay. So in this case, when I divide, the remainder is 9. Okay, this is my R. And the quotient is given by x squared plus 3x plus 2. This is my quotient, which I represent by Qx.